folks. I am Praxila Tarna with the University of Artemisia as part of Largesse August. Today we're going to be making this little pouch. Um, works great as a coin purse or to put beads, site tokens, whatever you've been given into. Um, in order to do this, you are going to need some, a piece of leather or other non-fraying material, a pair of scissors, a hole punch. If you actually have uh, leather, leather uh, tools, a uh, regular leather punch would work great as well. If you don't have a three-hole punch, you can use an exacto knife or an awl. We'll talk about that when we get to that, that step. Um, what I am using for leather is uh, leather couch covers. Our local restore had bunches of brand new ones of these just for sale for ridiculously cheap. I've also used um, leather jackets, leather skirts, other leather articles of clothing. You can also go to your local Tandy and pick up a side of lightweight fabric. You want to use um, upholstery weight or garment weight for this project because the heavier weights are not going to draw up into a drawstring like we want them to. So, um, Oh, other thing you will need is some kind of circular something or other. I'm using a dish. You could use any number of things. Um, it's going to depend on the size that you want to make. Do keep in mind that these are going to be drawn up. So the piece that you start with is going to need to be considerably larger than the piece you end with. I've done very small ones of these. We did them as site tokens at one of our events not too long ago. Um, I wouldn't go too small because then you can't get much into them. But uh, this particular pouch was made out of a circle this size, which happens to be the size of my the size of my plate. <laughs> All right, so. Step one, we are going to take our material, our whatever you're using. Um, you'll notice that a lot of these pieces have have seams. Seams will work fine. You can cut over. You can cut over the seam. I like to put the seam at a midpoint if I'm going to do that. So, for instance, this piece here where I've put it at a midpoint, um, just because if you're using recycled bits, that's what's going to happen, is there will be seams that you're, you're dealing with. For this project, that's not a problem. We aren't, we aren't going to be doing any sewing, so um, it, will, it shouldn't cause an issue. But so take your material, lay it out, try to get your best, your, your best layout, and then you're going to uh, draw your circle. In this case, because I have a light back, I would obviously probably want to do it on the back. Draw my circle. Okay, you have several options. Because we are using such a lightweight leather, a garment weight or an upholstery weight, you can use regular scissors. They will cut fine. Um, there are also leather shears available, but again, that's a specialized tool and we're trying to keep these with things you probably already have in the house. You can use an exacto knife. You could use an utility knife. Whatever you want to do that way to cut it out. In this case, like I said, I'm just going to use scissors and cut out my circle. Okay. Next step. Once my circle is cut out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put holes all the way around. These are lacing holes. This is what we're going to put our drawstring through. This is, this is a no sew. Well, the only sewing that's going to happen is the lace in and out of these holes. You do want to do an even number of holes um, so, that your, so that your lace has, is out both sides together. So what I'm going to do is just take my, my hole punch and punch a hole. Now again, you don't have to have a hole punch. And under normal circumstances, um, 
I actually normally, I normally use this. Uh, <laughs> most people aren't going to have this in their house. So that's, a, that's not something that most people are going to be using. Um, you could also use something like an awl to just poke your holes. Additionally, you could also just cut them with a, a knife. For instance, um, here's an example where you can see these are the, these are the punched holes. I've also done little vertical cuts that could also be laced through, just done with a utility knife. So you have lots of options um, for how to cut your holes, but you want an even number of them. Okay, the next thing we're going to address is the lacing. We're going to make our lacing. This is done with scrap leather. Um, you could certainly use ribbon or you could use yarn or you could use any number of things. We are going to make our leather lace just because it's one more skill we can, we can gain. Okay, so we're gonna start with a circle. And you're going, why are we starting with a circle? <laughs> we're starting with a circle because while you can certainly cut leather lacing um, from one side to another side, that limits you by the, by the size of the piece you have. Whereas if you start with a circle, you can use a very small piece of fabric of, of leather to create a great deal of lacing. So what we'll do is we're just gonna start cutting around. You could mark this if you wanted to so that you made it even which would be awesome, but I didn't think ahead. But anyway, you're going to keep cutting around and around and around in a spiral all the way to the center. And that will give you quite a length of lacing for a small piece of leather rather than trying to find a long straight strip that you can cut. So you'll keep cutting that, then you kind of pull it a little bit and you have a great piece of leather lace. So the next thing we're gonna do is now that we have all of our holes all the way around, an even number of holes, we are gonna start lacing them. We're gonna go from the top through. You could put a, a bodkin or a, a large eye needle to do this, or you can just use your fingers. It should be okay. But you're gonna go in and out all the way around the piece. So once you have gone all the way around the piece, you can then draw it up. Now, so there's, a, there's your bag. Now you can be done. You could just tie a little knot and have your, have your piece. Um, in this case, what I'd probably do is then go a little longer, tie a second knot so that I could hang that. Um, I think this is fun and it works great, but if you want to, you have an additional option of taking a, either a, something like a large shank button or an open hold bead. You can get really decorative. I usually use um, wooden beads, but I was not finding them this morning. <laughs> so then what you do is you take your bead and you're going to put your, the ends of your cord through that. Okay. And as you can see, you've made a little, a little draw to tighten that up. And then what you can do is a little way down. Um, I'd like to tie my lacing in place. And that way it can, it can hang from a belt. I can loop it on something or I could go like, you know, like this, pull that through and have it hang, but it can hang. 
you could also take uh, and what happens is that my my slider can slide open and shut and I can open my bag and put what I'm going to put into it all right and that is today's tutorial for how to make a small leather money bag. Hope you enjoyed it and we will hopefully see you, I wanna say tomorrow, but it might be a little later. Um, but we'll be doing these tutorials throughout the rest of August. Um, hope to see you soon, bye.